Alright guys, welcome back. We got another war video in Season 48. 14 fights and even a uh, boss attempt with a, a serpent boss. So we're going to see how we can do there. And Wiccan was, I think, banned this war. And Wiccan I usually use for a lot of mystic fights. Instead, we brought in Kushala, so that's going to be pretty fun. I'm still not super proficient with Kushala, but it's okay. We're starting off on path 3. We've got Hulkling taking on Wiccan here. Uh... Sorry, Hulkling taking on a Warlock here, and nothing too crazy. Um, Hulkling absolutely destroys this node. Uh, it's really the next fight that I used Hulkling for. Hulkling is not a global attacker, but it's a global defender in Cosmic Ghost Rider, and he does have that like three-part evade on that special one, and he can go unblockable on it. So the only thing I have to do is here is I have to be able to... Um, parry and as long as i can parry because normally if you used if i used a global attacker i can attack into the block to gain um prowess to remove the indestructible charges in this case i just have to rely on the parries so every time he throws that special one i almost got to get like three parries off but i'm gaining a lot of power so you can see here as soon as i get that third parry and i have an opening i'm going to use my special three one helps me move uh, ghost rider across the, the map and also gives so it gives me more room in order to get off a couple parries there and you can see again I also, because I don't want him to get the the fifth judgment on me, uh, I also don't want to push him to two bars of power, so I am playing a kind of a dangerous game, baiting a lot of uh, special ones here and not taking really... Uh, I'm scared of him, of him getting an unblockable, potentially, so I am just going to play it slow. Uh, as long as I have opportunities here to, uh, I could have probably blocked a few of those special ones once I saw it wasn't unblockable there, but I was a little nervous about it. There, uh, a special two, uh, kind of in the wrong timing there, but we did get a good, a decent, uh, clip of it on him at the end. And then again, this fight just took a little bit of time and is probably one of the more annoying fights this war when you're using a non-tactic attacker against a tactic uh, defender. That is definitely something you want to uh, avoid if you can, but depending on the matchups here, it can be quite uh, annoying. Uh, here we're going to go to fa uh, path one in section one. Uh, we're going to go Viv against Korg here. So when I phase, I try to go only light attacks at the beginning. So here when I phase, I'm just doing light attacks. You can see that I'm only doing light attacks because I am not losing any damage. Normally I would take damage from anything except for light attacks with the thorns. So I'm gonna, once I have the rock shield down, then I can go for the full special two here. That special two almost wipes him out completely there. You can see that medium that I took after his special two did give me some thorns damage there. So we do take a little bit. Now I can go ahead and finish this one off with a special one, and we barely took any damage on that Korg. Really nice fight from Viv. Next, uh, for Quicksilver on Masochism, I decided that I'm going to go with uh, Void here over Viv. I didn't want to deal with... Uh, I, I was worried a bit about his evade being a little more frustrating, so... I went ahead with a void here, figuring that uh, even if I'm doing nothing, I can get those intimidating debuffs on, even with masochism. So I can parry once those masochism is there. And if I get the right thing, like I got Petrify right away, which is very nice. So even if I do trigger the regen, he's not going, I can't reverse it, but I can at least block it completely. So here I'm just going to block his special two there, attack in afterwards, be really careful not to uh, get clipped by him with like a monster evade. But uh, we play this one pretty nicely here, block the special one, try to keep him below like 600, we don't want that unblockable special, and he melts. Void, uh, we continue to use him for... Uh, Rintra, path one in section two. This one is like never back down. So if I dash back, I'm going to get healing. Also, sometimes when you evade against Rintra, it gets power gain. So as long as I can, again, it got really nice there if you get the Petrify first. Uh, a lot of times when you want that Petrify, it ends up being the last one that procs. But here we do okay. So then here, if I even if I evade, uh, it's fine. The power gain will get reversed. And... Uh, 
for the most part here, I'm able to just, uh, I want to make sure I'm knocking down Rintra as much as possible. So I want to bait special ones. I want to counter with heavies. I want to keep Rintra's charges down because if Rintra gets the 10 charges and you hit Rintra up against the wall, then you're going to trigger, trigger that unstoppable. So we don't want to do that. We just want to stick with our normal, uh, like knockdowns as much as possible and let the intimidating debuffs do their thing. So here I'm just going to go ahead another heavy attack and we're already uh in fear of the void plus a couple extra uh, intimidating debuffs Vo uh rintra is just absolutely melting so just uh i did speed up the fights again i do two pa uh, accounts in the same battle group which is why when you watch my videos you are going to get way more fights than you're going to get anywhere else because i got two accounts in the same battle group this war we got 14 fights Right, so we're uh, we're not stretching ourselves too thin, but we uh, that does happen sometimes, and I do end up taking some fights that I probably shouldn't. But uh, here, I've done this. Vi I've had up and down with Viv here against Photon. Um, this fun, similar to the last time I took this, I screwed up early, lost my. Um, Right here, I screw up and lose my invulnerability boost because really my idea here against this Photon is that if I push her to a special three. I can tank it, uh, and that is kind of my problem here. So I end up doing it anyway, and somehow, some way, sometimes you got to get lucky uh, to be good or good to be lucky. But I'm going to go ahead, end up pushing uh, Photon to uh, pu pushing her to three bars of power. And I was not feeling too confident about this, but we're just going to let it go, see what happens, and somehow. I do not die from that special three and I quickly drop a special two that lands which is great and then I can go straight into a special one and somehow we get out of that fight that was ridiculous I was expecting to die there uh, based on my gameplay somehow we lucked out and got it here we got the future Ant-Man fight that everyone who did the uh, the uh, the Alliance War showcase has done and I always do it with Magneto. So we're just going to parry heavy to special three like I always do. I know it's the same thing over and over and over again. But that's why I said it during the showcase. This is why I'm, that's why I use Magneto. Because I've done it so many times in war. And I continue to see it on path three, section two, every single time. Uh, I believe it's, what is it, node uh, 21. We just keep seeing that one over and over and over again. And that's fine. We this is what we do every single time. We even whether it's with the six star rank five or the seven star or, or the five star rank five. This is what Magneto does. Doesn't matter. Then we have Viv. We've done this fight recently with Hulkling. This one I just sped up a little bit more. Again, uh, I it doesn't it, he counters the node in terms of not taking any power burn and not taking any shock damage. But I can't do anything about the glancing. I can't do anything about armor breaking the uh, Viv's armor. So we're just going to go really slow here. Try and use specials when we parry. And that is going to give us, you know, it's a, a better chance to actually get some crits in there. We do sneak in like a 15k crit there near the end of that special too. And we're doing great. It's fine. We don't, It's a long fight. It's slow. But at the end of the day, it's a safe fight, and that's what you want. In Alliance War, you want those solos, especially in my tier, like tier 4, tier 3, tier 3, 4. You don't want to, you, you just need to clear your fights. You clear your fights, you're in a great spot. It's not like the high tiers where you need to, to rush through it because the time might be a factor. It's not going to be a factor here. It's going to be if we clear fights, we're going to win. If we don't, uh, if we die too many times, we're going to lose. It's I know that's uh, a simple way to look at it, but that is that is the truth. Then we have um, Thing here on uh, Personal Space Regen. This one we're going to do with Void. It's going to be very, very, very easy as long as we keep up our uh, intimidating debuffs and as long as we count. When you fight a uh, Thing, counting is key. So here you can see he's at 13 rock stacks. I'm going to throw two hits. He's at 15, which means now I just got to go only into block. So I got to go block and push him to special one. So not the greatest counting here. 
when I, I used to do thing bosses with void all the time and I have to remember that it was I would do a five hit combo then a three hit combo then a five hit combo into a special and that would get me to 15. So there's always a little bit uh, you can see right there I go uh, through five hits then three hits then five hits into special special the specials have two hits on them so that's how you get to your 15. And here again perfect counting perfect use of the special to get to 15. And now we're just going to hit into block until he throws that special too. And now we are just cruising here on this fight. Really not an issue at all. And because we're a global attacker against a global defender, we just keep doing those hits into the block. It benefits us uh, just as the way we fight thing and benefits us for the node. Next up, we have a gladiator. Also global on hazard shift, incinerate, poison. Uh... Iceman, global attacker, doesn't have to worry about anything here. So other than getting clipped right at the beginning of this fight, which is really annoying, I try really hard to just push to special two. That is the goal here against uh, Gladiator. It's push to special two. I remember how to evade the special two. Uh, like there, I took a little bit of block damage, and after that, I get really comfortable with it here. Um, that's fine. We're going to throw that special one. Get a nice little intercept, and then we're gonna after the striker. We're gonna throw the, uh, the the heavy attack. Get some big damage. Now he does gain some charges here, so I'm gonna back off, get into the block to remove the uh, indestructible charges. He is stun immune on this node, so I can't rely on parries. I have to hit into the block in order to get those prowess charges. We throw another special one. And then every time I evade here, you see he's getting those indestructibles, so I gotta hit into the block a few more times here if I can. Even after this one, he gets like his full three charges. So I'm just gonna wait, see if he turtles up, hit into the block, get a nice little intercept there. Again, I trigger a whole bunch of indestructibles because it's a nice clean evade. So I gotta hit into his block some more, and that's fine. And there we get a nice little intercept into a striker, heavy attack, done. Very nice fight from Iceman. Then we have uh, a bullseye that was already almost finished. I just kind of tapped the, uh, this bullseye here with Iceman just to finish him off and get some attack bonus. So nothing too crazy. When you fight um, bullseye with Iceman, you can parry and hit into him no problem. Even you can go past the uh, one bar of power and still hit him because of the... Uh, cold snap counters the killer instinct so there i bait one special one heavy attack he's finished wasn't the whole fight so can't really take credit for that one but we did tap him there to finish him off next we got a conflictor combat deja vu uh nick fury we're gonna again we're gonna take this one a global defender with a global attacker and iceman he is just amazing so you can see here i'm going to hit a bunch of times into the block just to get the max seven prowess there so that when he does throw a special and i do decide to evade parts of the special one or two i can still hit in afterwards so any chance i've got to go ahead and build some prowess here so i'm going to go ahead and throw in a combo get a nice little intercept there i still have two prowess active but if he turtles up there you're going to see me go and try and hit into the block it's going to help me pushing him to like special twos if i can and even here, I'm going to go ahead full evade because I know that I have enough charges there. There we block the beginning, evade the last bit. Now i got to build up some more charges again. So we're just going to hit into the block as much as we can. Got a nice little striker. Full combo. Special one. Working really well so far. I think I intentionally blocked that last hit because I had no prowess, so I could attack in, get him into his second phase, and like his life model, get rid of the life model decoy. I, I do get clipped by one unblockable special one, which was kind of annoying here, but it was the last fight with Iceman, so I just gotta, I gotta work my way around it here. So we get a nice intercept with the striker into a heavy attack. I, uh, he's still at, uh, he's still unblockable, so we hit him into the block to push to special two. Hit him enough times, still <laughs> sitting there close, he's still unblockable, but we're, we're, uh, we don't wanna, we wanna get as many hits in as we can, and enough damage over time takes him out. Next up, we got this super scrawl. I got the white magneto pre-fight on here because it is 
uh, does have limber. Even though I don't want to hit him while he's stunned, um, I need uh, some parries in order to... One, parries are going to help me as a global uh, defender with my as a global attacker in Kushala. And uh, the issue here is that late in the fight, I get a little mixed up here. Uh, and uh, the whole fight, I'm trying, you can see here, he turtles up. And I go ahead and hit into the block. Even when he has some power, I'm hitting into his block. One, I got to deal with his falter. Two, uh, there I block a special two. So I know I can block a special two as long as it's not unblockable. But there's a lot of things here that I'm trying to manage in this fight. I'm trying to get to a special two, which I do. The soul barb absolutely starts melting him away. But uh, late in the fight, I am going to... I had see like here I get the falter on me but I was hitting it to the block and the falter disappeared so it was a combination of me doing that and not really like I think at that point I'm not really even noticing that I had the falter on me and sometimes you forget about that falter and what's going to happen later uh, is going to be very annoying the special three is going to hit he is melting away I'm feeling really good about myself at this point here and then uh, he gets to a couple bars of power, and I don't realize that the falter is about to hit me. Um, I throw the special one. He dashes back after this heavy. I think I can hit into the block a little bit. But one, he hits me with the special two. Two, I was faltered anyway. So I take a death there. It's kind of dumb. I should have been more patient and blocked the special two, and then the fight would have been over. So that was a little bit of oversight on my part. You make mistakes mistakes happen that's fine that's the way it works you can't go death i'm not i'm not the craziest player here i am more of an average guy going through this but i do try to use my best counters if i can here gore i get with uh, i get with kushala is gonna we're just gonna see how crazy she is here either on either of those hazard shift shock bleed kushala bleed and incinerate immune not shock immune so at the beginning of the fight i'm intentionally going to hit into the block and build up a whole bunch of prowess charges get to the max seven and at the same time it'll help me push gore to one bar of power and then here I counter in the bleed phase and then go back into um, hitting into the block during the uh, shock phase. So again, it's good. he turned into the shock phase, so I'm hitting into the block. And now I'm going to try and bait a special and try and time it so that he throws it here during the bleed phase now, where I go for an intercept during the bleed phase. We get that soul barb on and watch Gore just absolutely melt here. We throw a second special too. We do get a little bit of shock on us, but the double soul barb and gore just melts. Just absolutely melts. Then, last but not least, I'm going to try Kushala against the Serpent boss. Very annoying. I've seen tons of deaths add up on a Serpent here. Now, Kushala, great. My goal is to try and go special twos if I can. You can see I blocked that special one there and attack in afterwards. I know I can't evade it. He's got the uh, indestructible on, so I have to try and hit into his block to try and get as many prowess as I can. We've got the soul barb on, so all the buffs that he's getting are are helping with the soul barb. He does have recoil on, which is definitely beneficial to me. I'm not going to, you know, pretend that that wasn't there. So if, he, if the opponent has recoil masteries, they're taking damage every time they throw a special. But here we get a second special two on. I'm feeling pretty good. The only thing that you have to do is you got to be able to uh, block these uh, specials. And late in the fight, we are going to get uh, turned around and we are going to make some mistakes. But again, they happen. But I've seen so many deaths on serpents, so it was kind of nice to see. I was already really, really happy at this point that I've taken so much of it down of him. Uh, unfortunately, right there, I flinched, I didn't block, and I took it to the face. Go back in, uh, get, I think I get Serpent down to like 1%, but make a mistake. Now again, I, it's my fault, I think, I think the fight was, I think either we won this, either we had already won the war, or we had lost the war, and I wasn't going to waste another potion on healing up um and i really thought i had this here because i could get the soul barb and just melt um serpent here but i get hit by heavy and then hit on a dash back i thought i was evading so that was really annoying go in one more time 
and when that uh, when that green buff disappears, we are able to melt him. So hopefully uh, that helps you out there, Kushala. Pretty nice, Iceman, awesome, Void, awesome. Hope you enjoyed the war, guys. Bye bye.